All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And the South Asian brothers doing this thing is sincere. The truth don't turn. You can turn the AC back up. Shit. Close these windows. The AC go up. <laughs> but, um, hey, we're going to hop into a little quick lesson, man. The first lesson that a woman should learn, and, you know, and really uh, the most important lesson is the lesson of the right kind, like silence, man. The sh I'm going to say it more harsh than that, shutting the fuck up. And if you offended at the way I worded it, check yourself. You need to humble down. Go read Matthew, the 15th chapter. When I learned how a shot called a woman a dog, which the word for a female dog is a bitch, she didn't turn up on him. She she came with some supplantage because she had faith that this is the Lord. He's in order. Whatever he says, what it is. She said, look, if you're calling me a dog, AK, if you're calling me a bitch, well, at least let me get the crumbs off the table like a dog. That was, that was humble. A humble, wise response. You bitches so fucking wise, y'all don't have to be humble yet, cause you ain't wise. But um, anyway, this this lesson has come because women surely brings confusion. All right, surely, and this is because of something that happened earlier today, August. Say the eighth. Is it Sunday or Monday? Today's the ninth. All right, it's Monday. Yeah, today's the ninth. So um, some shit happened. It doesn't. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter. But. The confusion came because of a woman, and it ran through, because you know, caused his brother to do a video, and it ran through the camps, the brothers. And look, man, for one, this is 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Now, I'm going to jump, and that's plain. Everything, the Lord is about order. Now, I'm going to jump up, man. This is verse um, 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted. And you already know, you got some, yeah. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. So in the church, even, for sure, tells you plainly, when you're amongst the brothers, the body be quiet, right? And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. So if you got anything to say, a question, some misunderstanding, ask your man. Now, you don't got a man, you know, <laughs> find a way to ask him, you know, you can ask comic board, whatever. But if you got a man for sure, you shouldn't be asking no other man on counsel or advice or what about this situation. Ask your fucking men. And if you don't got a man, you, you still got to find a way to be humble about it. You just post up the questions, you know, uh, uh, on the comic board. And really, the young women supposed to marry, man. A little off topic, but on topic, let me grab that. Shit, it's fucking this is, you ain't, ain't no ain't no sisters of Beyonce in the in the uh that's supposed to be a so-called believer, man. Right. <laughs> this, this is Titus two and four. I'm gonna start up, man. Titus two and three. The age women likewise, if they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober. No, no, this ain't the one. But I'm a, this is spirit, though. They, that teach, they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, obedient to their own husbands, the word of God be not blasphemed. And that's perfect through the spirit, like the brother said, still through the spirit, you know, because it goes to the order. This is the order I'm supposed to be in, obedient. All right, if you're not obeying your husband, you're not following the scriptures that way, you really look at your husband like your savior, like we look at you, how we shy, how we know we need him. Right. You don't look at your husband like that. Something wrong. Yeah, you blaspheming the whole. You blaspheming, actually. Hey, the scripture say that her conversation towards her husband be coupled with fear, <clears throat> because your husband is is basically your your. You know, scripture I'm talking about. Uh, because uh, your husband is pretty much your God, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because how you get to your house shy. It's through your husband, all right. So the reverence that you would have to towards your towards your husband, towards the Lord, you 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 women are supposed to have that reverence to you to your husband as if he was the Lord. That's because the scripture says, "said wives submit yourselves unto your unto your husbands as, as unto, unto the, the Lord. Lord." But he is the savior of the body. Because he's the savior of the body. So that just like Yahweh Shai is is our head. We are your head, what makes us your Lord, your king, your, your savior. savior. You know what I mean? 
and you think somebody gonna save you if they talking you talking shit all the time hey because when we get when we get put in our right minds and that change come all right and we're gonna be in the right mind that's right you know and we may not and we we gonna see what you what you were saying to other women when we wasn't around we gonna we gonna know everything so we may say fuck you yeah hey, hey the gospel said every idle word hey just just like how a husband can disannul a woman's uh, oh, yeah. a, a prayer man if a husband if the husband and let's say your woman want to fast and you say no I, I that, that man's it, it don't matter what you say and maybe the husband want to have sex that night I if he say no it's no that mean that's an order man he, and, and even even Yahweh Shah respect that order because well, it's in the law it's literally in the law it says uh, you know and it shows that a woman is a, is lesser because it says she's on her father and her father got that authority and when she gets a husband the husband has authority to even cancel out any oath she makes to the Lord. Right. So, it's, it's so, so, so that means you you are pretty much. That's why I say why submit yourself to your husband because you women are subjected to us. Yeah. Well, no matter what you think and believe, you got to have in your mind understand that we. Hey, we. Hey, to put in the and for, to put it plainly for you. Hey, we're your Yahweh Shai. That may be a stumbling block to some, but if it is, go. Hey, we one body with the Lord. We kind of. Hey, like hey, like Yahweh Shai say, man, we won with we hey, won with our father. I you mean, know? E even even these other camps teach that, right? Because, but they just do it on a wicked level, right? Like I U I C, they tell it they tell the women get rid of the man you got, and get with a righteous man, which is going off, right? But the thing is, the thing is, they understand that the man is the head, all right, and the, and the man holds the uh the 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 uh uh. uh he holds everything. The authority. The authority. Hey, I, I got this precept for you. It's going to hit both two points you made. There's 1 Peter 3 and 1. Likewise, your wives be in subjection to your own husbands. And that don't mean to get to be disrespectful to everybody else. It's saying you got a husband, follow his rules. You can't follow somebody else's, man, no other man's rules outside what your husband say. God. He go first. Number one. That, yeah, that if any obey not the word, they also may be without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. So I U I C is going off and tell the women to lead a man if they don't believe. Right, completely, completely going Lord, off. Well, the scripture just said it plainly. Facts. You know completely what I'm going off. Yep. So okay. verse no, this verse two to the other point you made, this one you wanted. Quoted. While they behold your chase conversation coupled with fear. Right, coupled with fear. Right? So if you really fear and believe in the Lord, if you reverence the Lord, then that means you're really gonna fear and believe and reverence that man. Alright? No matter what carnal fleshly Downfall this man may have You gotta deal with it man It says Shall we not receive The good of the Lord And the evil Right So we That's how we look at things We, You know We deal with the bad parts You know That's how you gotta look at it right. <laughs> Shit Just that right. simple And that's why That's why I tell my woman Right They say Oh yeah we believe You don't fucking believe I tell them that all the time Right And that's why Apostles say No woman in the truth man Right Because if you really believed all right, you'll do the things that Yahweh Shah said to do. And what he say to do? Honor your husband as if we him. Yep. Verse 6. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Hey, Ooh, hey mm -hmm. I had to hold back some words. I asked my wife. I told my wife one day. We was talking. This is a couple years ago. I remember it like it was yesterday. I said, if Yahweh Shah walked in this door right now, you ain't going to talk to him like that, would you? And she said, no. And I... Damn it! Fucking went off. I went off on the bitch. Like you think you think the Lord gonna fuck with you and honor you, and you can't even honor me? What you think? What do you think it worked like that? He gonna allow you to show him reverence without showing me reverence first? I'm your king. You know what I mean? You belong. The woman belongs to the man. All right, the man that she's dealing with. Hey, the scriptures say what? When a man, when a man give a wife, he give a possession. You belong to me. All right, you don't belong to Yahweh Shai. You belong to me. You're my booty, so to speak. All right, and how you get to the Lord and how the Lord really deal with you, all right, it's like a husband get blessed with some money. All right, and you reap the benefits of that. You reap the benefits of that. I right? like my woman, sometimes when she acting good, her head starts to grow. But when she starts to be a demon, patches of her hair fall out. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord deal with it like, like on that level. 
But you women, you women, you cannot jump over your husband and get to your house shy, man. You got to go through the order. Facts. Oh, let me finish that verse up. Even as Sarah, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 6, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are, as long as you do well and are not afraid with any amazement. And this is the uh, New Testament, man. You can't say these are the old, they are like the old patriarchal ways. Look, the patriarchy still stands, goddammit. Period. You know what I'm <laughs> right. Ain't no deep breakdown for that. Right. Shit. That's just facts. <laughs> A bitch. No. <laughs> right, right. Hey, hey, it's crazy how only only you go to these other countries, they the wives still reverence their husband. Hey, look, I was watching an Instagram, and it's it's a wall. It, it was all she had like six sisters, and two of them weren't married, and they was mad that they wasn't on the married wall. You know what I'm saying? To be they to be subjected to yeah. their husbands, they was mad that they it was a dishonor not to have a husband. It's a reproach. It's a, it's a reproach. That's Isaiah 4, man. That's a reproach. Uh, this is Sirach 26, 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A quiet and obedient and loving woman. You can't just be quiet. All right? Because a bitch will throw a fit and say, I'm just being silent. So I don't do this, do that. No, you got to be silent and loving. You have to know how to love that man and nurture that man while being quiet. While honoring him, while understand, while understand the Lord is dealing with him, and, and this is your head. All right, a mind well instructed, man. Hey, they like to call it manipulation. No, a woman is supposed to be led, guided. All right, her mind is supposed to be adjusted, uh, uh, conform to what her man say, man. Point blank, period. period. This is a uh, Sirach twenty five, and um. Uh, Twenty, as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the aged, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. No man wants to deal with all those words. And to be honest, hey, every man is different too. Some men to deal with your shit more than others. And that don't that don't give you know one might say I need a strong man to handle me. No bitch, you need to be in order. Because every man ain't the same. Though I need an alpha. No bitch, a quiet man, you know a that meek man don't make, man, don't make him not an alpha. Right. That just means he's not gonna deal with your shit. Your exactly, man. Because every man is different. It says, "Hey, let you know right here, that's such thing as a quiet man." You know, and your job is still to, hey, it's a fucking relax, man. Yeah. To chill, be his peace. Hey, hey, hey! Like I did in my video, uh, Keisha, aka the Leech. I right? yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, it can, you know, uh, Proverbs thirty-one. Even, even though the Proverbs thirty-one. A lot of you women don't understand that you're supposed to bring substance. You're supposed to increase your husband's household. Yeah. Right? You're supposed to increase his household. When you go into Proverbs 31, it's actually going into a woman working. She going out. She she gets she buys the field and and and, 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 and tend to it with the works of her hands. Yep. That means she takes her own money and she goes out and looks for things to, to enhance her husband's household, to build up, to make money, to bring more money and finances into into the man's household. Right. These bitches say, oh, they say, oh, you mentioned, you mentioned cook, clean, do this. They say, well, it's my man's going out there and making all the money Friday. Hey, that ain't how it works. That's, that's, that's not right. And when you read that Proverbs 31, this virtuous woman, this righteous woman, all right, it literally says she's the first one woke in her crib and the she last the one sleep. She feeds the maidens. First first woke, last sleep. Make sure her kids are straight. Yes. So they ain't got to worry about the cold because she took care of the clothing. All right? And she wouldn't make money as well. I seen the little um, she was one of those she was memes or you know status on Facebook. It said, "What happened to those grandmothers? You know those women that used to like the grandmothers they used to uh, 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 clean, cook, do this, do that, do this and that." But they didn't say work. And I said, "And works." My grandmother did that. She did a lot of shit. Cooked on Sundays. Work, all the people, yeah, yeah. and she went to work at nights. And I said, "And I put in a comment and work." That's real shit, man. Now, of course, you know, as men, we we like. Hey, look, a man. He's gonna do what he gotta do. A man likes to, you know, have his woman, you know, hold her down. But we in hell, shit. Right. And, that, and, that, and, right, and, it, and even if it was in the ancient world, look, Toby wife had to go do woman's work. That's yeah. just life. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. And, and like it's, it's fucking it's, nobody going to break their back so you can be lapped up, bitch. So you can be you the servant. Up. Wait a minute, bitch. You the servant. Yeah. 
The word woman actually means female servant. You actually the servant. Gun. You know, gun. You know? And that's what you a lot of our women lost that, lost that, hey, like you can say it. She has not set her soul of her foot on the earth for delicateness, man. Oh yeah, they ain't delicate at all. Yeah, you you our women are not soft. They're not feminine. Alright? Hey, you're broke, man. You're you're broken. You're a broken, you're you're a broke piece of powder, man. Alright? And we're we like like the brother said, we're not your we're not your servants. When you go into Proverbs 31, hey, it said the husband is known in the gates. In the gates. With the elders. That was his job. He went out there and sat and talked with the wise men. He got wise. And she went and did all this shit. She took and, care of business. And that don't mean a man didn't bring no fucking money. And even Paul made tents. It's just the sake of the matter. We we go we both got our fucking offices and jobs. God. The woman wanna live comfortable now. We trying to make sure so the bitch can live comfortable forever. Right. And then it said it makes sure the maidens yeah. I was was fed. So a virtuous woman, if the man had more than one wife, she will make sure they were straight. Sister wife hashtag sister, sister wife. Right. Hashtag sister wife. Hey, because you women, and say you've been with a brother. And you, you, you know, you've been around the longest. You will be considered the eldest woman of his wives. Yep, you get to let guide them, let him, let them other wives know what he like, how he like this, right. like that. Come. You know, you, you, she would, she would show them how to please him. All right, the thing, right, like you just said. And I'm not even talking sexual. I'm talking about in general. Just he, in general, he like, right? his, like, he, like his, he like his socks folded like this in this drawer. All right, he like this, like that, and everything else extra. The man definitely gonna let her right. know. Right, right. You, just, you just do, you know, the base guideline. Right, yeah, come, come. You know, and, 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 and but to, in today's age, you ain't gonna find that. All right, you, hey, all hell got to break loose for that thing. And if you find it, brother, hey, hey like it says in Proverbs, yeah. man, he that findeth the wife got favor from the Lord. Yeah. All right, because it happens, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. It's a rare thing. It's, yeah. a, it's a rare thing. It's, I ain't seen a brother mention on video yet. <laughs> yeah, no, bitch, give me here. This yeah. ain't worth shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so you know, and that's the thing. You women don't understand how much. Hey, it's a meme that was out. I don't know what Israelite made it, but it was Donald Duck. Like when he he got his face blew up and his beak went the other way. And it oh. meant if, we, if we talk to the Lord, uh -huh, how, yep. how the woman, how y'all, our women talk to us. Yeah, we get slapped. I but, remember that scene. Yeah, yeah, yep. she was funny as hell. Yeah, it but, makes but, sense. But it's the, but it's the truth though. Y'all women just, just fly, fly off the mouth with everything, and then you want something from us, baby. I, uh, you got a couple of dollars. I need gas. You got to watch the band. Oh yep. Yeah. Or oh, they get it. They be attitudey. They ain't want the ride. Bitch, right. You done turned me off the whole this whole thing. You know? Yeah, fuck that man, look. So anyway, <laughs> y'all women <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And when you do talk, this is what you speak. Let me grab this. Let me get the balance to it, man. You know, so they can't say we just bashing women. <laughs> <laughs> this a rock. 36. I'ma start at 22. And still like it. You good. Because the spirit been on the nigga woman. Facts. I mean, even though I don't be trying to talk about the nigga woman, but it just happens. Because this place is coming to an end and you bitches gonna be in a pitiful case. The, the Lord is warning you bitches. Hey, look, every video you, you damn to turn on, it, it always segue to the, the nigga woman. Yep, it can be a, a total opposite, different topic, completely different, not, not related. Even if it touch on the woman for two minutes, five minutes, it but comes it, it comes up. It comes up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's because the Lord yeah. is warning you, bitches. Yeah. 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 It's it's finna be y'all are finna be. Hey, look, I work security. All right. And the other day, I just passed out damn near 200 five day notices. All the nigga woman. Uh -huh. Almost 200 five day notices. All right. And, and when I went in the office, they was laughing. They was laughing. He was like, yeah, they was up in here. It was a line of them outside. You doing your job. Shit, I should have been there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, look. So hey, I <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look. Hey, your, your securities are finna stop because, hey, look, hey, look, a lot of people are not trying to get the water, man. That bitch is finna fail. That, what's that? The Isaiah 32, God. man. This shit are coming to an end, man. 
and this and without a hedge, you fuck. You ain't got a man. You ain't got a cover. You toast. That's why Isaiah four and one coming to play. And you bitches about to be humble. It's better getting in line now, getting your position now, because soon you can find yourself at the bottom of the barrel, or you can find yourself not even in the, in, barrel. In the barrel. And this is a rap thirty six. 22, the beauty of a woman cheer of the consonants, and a man love it nothing better. If there be kindness, meekness, and comfort in her tongue, then is not her husband like other men. So you do speak, this is what you're supposed to be speaking. You're supposed to be that man's biggest cheerleader. Man. He that getteth the wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. You're supposed to make it so this man can have yeah, rest. Him up. Keep him on full. Yeah. Keep, yeah. Keep, his, keep his confidence on full. Keep his yeah. mind empty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be a rest. We <laughs> hell shit. Everything he do, you're supposed to be gassing him up. Okay, man. Yeah. You're supposed to be That's gassing him up. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to be doing, man. Hey, you know what? When I was a kid, when I was you know, the puppy love shit, that's when you got those type of women. And that's why Esau... He don't want you getting no woman at that age, man. Yep. Right? Or he, or he, he oh, indoctrinated them so they can go fuck and do more dicks. Right, and do more dicks. So and now they ain't the, got that. They can't pair bond no more. Can. Because when you young and you met and you in high school, man, you're like the you can't fucking, do nothing wrong you're to like the a bitch. god to them. They don't care. They'll fight they cuss their mama out about you. Yeah, they they daddy about you. Yeah. you ain't, and you can't say nothing wrong against a man. Yeah. But when she get old and had 30, 40, 100... 200 dicks. Hey, two dicks. Right. Because these bitches like saying, well, I only had two. Bitch, that's still going off. You should have had one. I just wanted to put that balance on. Like, they like the, man, these bitches, man, they don't take no accountability. My bitch changed after she got another dick. Yep. Where no hedge is, that's it. That's all it takes is one extra dick. Where no hedge is, the possession is spoiled. And what's the possession? The woman. So you don't have a hedge. You don't have a man. You don't have a covering. You shall be spoiled. And he that get it no, have no wife, so like, he that have no wife, but wander up and down morning, <laughs> all right? And to be honest, a lot of brothers really, even though brothers have women that they deal with, they don't have wives. First Corinthians 7 talks about that's the difference between a virgin and, and a wife. You know, a young woman and an actual wife, that's the difference between an actual, a actual, a woman that's yours and a bitch that you just pop in, all right? And that's why, hey, the men and the Lord go hard because we mourning, man. This shit ain't right. This shit ain't right. What, what it say? It's not good for man to be alone. I was just it's, from the quote, bro. It's not natural. It's not natural. You quoted it better. You quoted it even better, bro. This shit ain't natural. <laughs> Call it. I don't know about shit. You know what I'm saying? Show. That's the spirit. Uh, uh, America is synthetic. This shit ain't natural. You know what I'm saying? I'm worried, bro. You know, a, a man is supposed to have a fucking woman. A man is supposed to have a, a plethora. It was an old plethora, word. Right. A plethora. Right. A whole heap of women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, if that's what he wanted. You yep. know what I'm saying? If that is, and then the women that he has supposed to make sure he happy. Honorable. He's supposed to come home and at least he had hair all the day at work and he tilled the field. He went out and made swords or whatever hey, the fuck he and did. And like you. So like I got I gotta inject because there's women that say you'll see like it's bitches, you know, fake waking up and they a man supposed to do this. I mean it's like a one supposed to do this and that to her man. And that'd be partially on point. And then it's always this one part from her or some other bitch commenting every man don't deserve that every man no bitch this is like this is Esther 1 and 20 and when the king's decree which he shall make shall be published throughout all the, his empire let me read that over I, I stumbled and when the king's decree which he shall make shall be published throughout all his empire for it is great all the wives shall give to their husbands honor both to great and small so man, hey, with that, all praises on the glory too. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the great millstone. And the South Asian brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom, Wa Baba Ball.